from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. I'm James Tully, Greg D. Watching storms pretty much all day long here. We'll have the latest from him coming up. But first, more than 10,300 people in Florida currently hospitalized for COVID-19. The Florida Hospital Association says the state broke a record for hospitalizations on Sunday and then broke it again yesterday. Digging into some of those numbers, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services says that 85% of all inpatient beds are occupied in Hillsborough County, 81% of all ICU beds occupied. In Polk County, there are fewer, fewer total beds occupied. Uh, things better in Sarasota County. There are only 59% of ICU beds occupied there. And because of this surge in cases and hospitalizations, some Tampa Bay area hospitals are re-implementing COVID-19 restrictions. All Bay Care hospitals will now limit patients to one visitor a day. And Sarasota Memorial, Manatee Memorial, and Lakewood Ranch Medical Center are suspending all visitations. Exceptions will only be made on a case by case basis. One bit of good news. The U.S. hit a major goal President Biden wanted to reach a month ago. 70% of the country has now received at least one dose of the vaccine. According to the Mayo Clinic, 98% of people over the age of 65 received at least one dose of the vaccine. But the number drops to 52% for adults under the retirement age here in Florida. In other news, Many stores struggling to keep ammunition on shelves. Manufacturers say that they're trying to keep up with demand as people buy guns for protection or they take up shooting for sport. And some law enforcement agencies and police academies also report they're having a hard time finding enough ammo for officers. Redemption for American gymnast Simone Biles, who withdrew from other gymnastics events due to a condition where she couldn't safely do aerial spins. She returned to competition in the balance beam final this morning took her signature twisting dismount out of a routine and still won bronze. After the event, she admitted she didn't expect to win a medal and only competed for herself. We're just glad she did. We got a chance to see her probably for the last time, Greg, in the Olympics. Yeah, that was uh, pretty incredible. Great to see her back there on the balance beam and meddling, too. That's uh, uh, incredible. Temperatures in the 80s out there today. We're going to see a lot of clouds throughout the afternoon, folks, but it's not going to be too hot because of a lot of rain. The rain chances stay high, periods of showers and additional thunderstorms, localized flooding, frequent lightning and gusty winds, all possible with these storms. The rain chances do start to drop off later on this evening as the rain will tend to break up and head south and east of Tampa. We're going to continue to track it throughout the day. I'll post updates on my Twitter feed and on my Facebook page. You can follow me there at Greg D. Weather. James. Thank you, Greg. Get all your news 24-7 on our free streaming news channel. Just download the ABC Action News app. Have a great day.